you're going to succeed in anything, if you're going to take things to another level, if you're going to have a breakthrough, I don't care if it's in a relationship or it's in your career or it's in your body or it's in your level of happiness or your finances, there's three things that affect your success or failure in anything at the most basic level. You need strategies. You need to know how do I get this done, right? How do I make this shift? How do I make this money? How do I turn this around? How do I lose this weight? How do I make a difference with my kids? There's a how to. And I spent most of my life looking for the strategies that have proven stuff that gets you the quickest results in the shortest period of time with the most enjoyment and the least amount of pain. But let's take one of the things that affects most of the planet, at least in North America. More of us today are overweight than ever more, and so are our kids. We're not taking care of our kids. We've got, what, almost 300% larger kids than we did 20 years ago. I mean, there's massive growth in weight. All of us are. We're looking at it now, and a third of us are obese. And that's not a judgment. It's just about there's something that's changed. Is our problem a lack of strategies on how to be able to lose weight? Sometimes people don't know what to do. I agree. But where can you find the strategies to turn your life around physically, to get fit, to get strong, to get alive? Where are they available? If you and I walk outside of this building, within six blocks, there's six gyms. We don't have to go out to this building. We pick out your phone, and there's a million articles. There's coaches you could hire. There's courses you'd go to. It's not a strategy problem. The real problem is you're missing the second thing you need. You need the right story. Because if your story is a lousy story, you'll never find the strategy or you'll never use it. So if your story is, yeah, that's all great, but I'm big boned, you're not going to do anything. <laughs> right? If your story is, I've tried what? I've tried what? If that's your story, have you tried? When people tell me I've tried everything, I say, name the things you've tried. Well, I've tried millions of things. Name them. Well, tens of thousands. Name them. Well, thousands, name them. Well, these three things that don't work, I keep doing. Right? But when you say I've tried everything, then there's no reason for you to look or apply. Right? And so the story, it's the same thing in a relationship. You can take any subject. How to make a relationship work. There are people that have passionate relationships. I would die for my wife. I'm not saying that because this is filled with women. I say to her, I worship this woman. She's the greatest gift of my life. And she shifted everything for me. But I never would have found her if my story was all women are a certain way or I can't have it, or it's just not going to happen. And I have that story for a long time, and that's why I didn't have her in my life. If you've got a story about relationships, it's stopping you from finding what's going to bring that relationship to you. So you've got to change the story, the belief system. And the way you do it is you divorce it and you come up with a new one. But that sounds easy. But when you're in your story, it's hard, isn't it? Because you said it so many times. It almost has a life of its own. So you need the third element. You need a quality state. You need a different state of mind. Because the state you're in will determine your story. Do you ever notice when you're really, really angry with somebody, suddenly you can remember every story of anything they've ever done that's upset you? <laughs> do you ever know when you're totally in love with somebody, what can they do wrong when you're totally in love with somebody? By the way, what's wrong in your life when you're totally in love? Make the sound if you would, so, and if you're at home, you can do it too. Make the sound of what it's like when you're head over heels in love. Just make a sound for that if you would for me. Go for it. Some of you have not been in love for a while, I can tell. Let's try it again. Make the sound of head over heels in love, ladies. Come on. When you're in that state, what's wrong in your life? What's wrong? Nothing. And when you're in that state with somebody, what will you do for somebody you're in love with? What will you do? Anything. If they say, would you take out the trash? You would take out the trash. Of course. Right? But after seven days, seven weeks, seven months, 70 years, at some point, some of you change the story. And you're in a lousy state, and they go, would you take out the trash? Go, take out the trash! What do I look like? You're janitor! <laughs> I don't know why we don't have passion like we used to. So we get, is it true we get in habits of the states we're in? You bet we do. It's easy to get in the habit of being pissy, or angry, or sad, or feeling depressed. And here's the worst part. It feels terrible, but you've gone there so often, it's home for you. Meaning, it's comfortable because you know it. And you've got to break out of that. So you can break out of it in the most simple ways. Before we started on the air today, you ladies know, I showed you the fastest way to change your state is a radical change in the way you move. Because the emotion is what creates motion. Fear is physical. So is courage. So is energy. And if you want to know the simple solution to fear, there's only one. Massive action.